Hi, everyone. Victor Manash here. I want to talk to you for a moment about a question that came up during a recent training class that I was giving. One of the students in the class was asking about the cost to renovate a kitchen, and he made the assertion that a kitchen would cost about $25,000. And I said, whoa, 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 hang on. Where did you get that kind of a number? So we decided to come up with a budget for renovating a kitchen uh, right there in the class, and so I wanted to share this with you. Let's start with a sample kitchen, and it's actually a kitchen that I have built myself uh, in one of our projects. Uh, so we're going to start with a, a kitchen that is 10 feet by 20 feet in dimensions. And this is a galley-style kitchen. Uh, I'm going to show you a before picture of exactly what this kitchen looked like. And we're going to construct the budget for that kitchen from scratch. We need to budget for demolition. That comes to about $200. Now, one of the main constraints in developing a new kitchen is going to be the amount of granite counter that you're going to use. I always prefer to use natural stone rather than composite materials. It just markets better, and for the cost of the material, it just makes the whole value of the house go up. Granite comes in 4 by 8 sheets, so we're talking about 32 square feet, so that's 4 times 8. And it's typically about $75 per square foot. You can sometimes get it for less, but let's assume $75 per square foot. So that granite's going to cost us $2,400, and it's also going to determine the maximum amount of counter space that we're going to have in the kitchen, because I don't want to use two sheets of granite. I only want to use one. So in this kitchen, we're going to divide up the granite into, uh, we're going to slice it down the middle so that it's two feet in width, and then we're going to cut it into three pieces, one of them that's going to go to the right of the stove, uh, a long segment that's going to cover the sink and the dishwasher, and then another six-foot segment that's going to be on the opposite side of the galley kitchen. The cabinetry itself, the length of that's determined by, in fact, the amount of counter space that we have. So we have 16 feet of linear counter space, so we'll have 16 linear feet of cabinetry. Plus, we'll have half-height cabinetry above the fridge, so that's a total of 19 linear feet. And I'm going to pick a product from Home Depot called Instant. And this is a very good quality product with solid wood doors, MDF cabinetry, and very high quality soft clothes hinges and rails for the drawers. Now, we're not going to use any of the fancy add-ons like pots and pans drawers or spice drawers. They're very expensive, and that's where the company makes their money is in those you know, those special products. We're going to go with basic cabinetry. It's going to look very good and it's going to present extremely well. And that costs typically about $160 per linear foot. So if we price that out, we're looking at $3,040 in cabinetry, 19 linear feet at $160 per linear foot. The nice thing about this particular product is that it installs in really a couple of hours because it comes pre-assembled, whereas a flat pack kitchen can take several days to assemble. The labor cost associated with a flat pack kitchen even though the kitchen is cheaper to purchase, actually ends up costing more. Now let's price out the appliances. We're going to go with the Frigidaire Gallery Series. These are nice stainless appliances. It's a good quality product. We're going to budget $950 for the fridge, $600 for the stove, $500 for the dishwasher, including installation. So the, the dishwasher itself will be a little bit less. It'll be closer to $400, and then uh, an over-the-range microwave with fume hood integrated for $250. The plumbing, that is the sink, and the attachments for the dishwasher uh, will price out at about $800. That's going to give us a nice undermount sink, plus some good quality stainless hardware. The installation of the cabinetry, like I said, it goes in very quickly when you have pre-manufactured cabinets. That's going to happen in a few hours, and so we budget $200 for that. Now, for the flooring, we're going to go with ceramic tile. Now, ceramic tile typically costs about $3.50 per square foot to install. And we're going to buy the truckload sale tile, a good quality uh, but inexpensive tile at about a dollar per square foot. So our total in installed cost is $4.50 per square foot. If I multiply that out by the uh, square footage of the room, we're looking at just under $1,000 to tile that room. We're looking for an additional $500 in paint and trim and another $500 to do the ceramic tile backsplash. So when we put all of this together, it prices out just under $11,000. It prices out at $10,840. As you can see, this delivers a very good quality product that sells very well on the open market, meets the needs of today's discerning client. Hope you found this helpful. This is how you get a budget kitchen done and get a very good quality product that has an upscale feel to it with some upscale finishes for under $11,000. And you can put the idea of a $20,000 to $25,000 kitchen out of your mind because it just does not have to cost that much. If you found this helpful, come visit me at greatcanadiantakeover.com where you'll find this and many other resources for real estate investors. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.